Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we are going to talk about Vecna Eve of Ruin. So Vecca, Vecna Eve of Ruin is hurtling toward us. It is a Dungeons & Dragons canon hardback, which is extremely, and every new Dungeons & Dragons canon hardback, extremely exciting. Um, and, you know, I think one of the most exciting parts about this is that this will be one of the first Dungeons & Dragons canon hardbacks where we receive it, and we have Lego, official Lego minifigs, uh, Dungeon Dragons Lego minifigs. So literally, you could run this adventure using the Gnome Fighter, the Elf Wizard, um, the Orc Rogue, and who is Elf Wizard, Gnome Fighter, Orc Rogue, and the Dwarf Cleric, right? And, the, you know, and... This will be the first D&D canon hardback that could be run with Legos. You know, all terrain, all miniatures. It's extremely exciting. Um, so, uh, Vecna Eva Room is coming, and it's going to be for 10th to 20th level characters, right? Really big, high-end, dangerous adventure, right? And what's really interesting is the player characters are going to be dealing, are going to be allying with the strongest wizards in all the realms, right? So Vecna's coming in. Vecna is deadly, super deadly, right? So he is a deity level threat who is not a deity, right? So he's a, you know, uh, Vecna is a lich, right? And um, and he's incredibly powerful. So there are going to be three three wizards that he'll be fighting. And today I want to talk about one of them, Alustriel Silverhand. So what does it mean that Illustriel Silverhand was handpicked by Christopher Perkins and Jeremy Crawford and Amanda Heyman and uh, Mackenzie DeArmas to fight Vecna, right? Well, first of all, we got to talk, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Elminster out! <laughs> like, so Elminster is not going to be in Vecna Eve of Ruin, right? And this is kind of like, uh, this is very much a Marvel moment, like, you know, uh, the Marvel Universe put Captain Marvel in, right? Thanos showed, like, and then let's say, well, you know, Thanos showed up and then everybody fought. But then if, like, Ultron shows up after Endgame, people are like, uh, where's Captain Marvel? If, if this level of threat is here, why isn't the most powerful wizard, why isn't the most powerful superhero in all of Marvel fighting? Why is Captain Marvel sitting this one out? Elminster is sitting out the entire fifth, like, Elminster is sitting out 2014 Dungeons Duns and Dragons, right? We'll have the Infinite Edition before we see Elminster again. He has not been prominent in anything, right? So Elminster is so... Illustriel Silverhand is taking Elminster's slot, right? Now, one of the reasons for that is um, Vecna Eve of Ruin is, is, is establishing the three most powerful um, wizards in every D&D &D realm combined, right? And so, who are they, right? Well, Illustrial Silverhand. And the one thing I could... I, I, I would really appreciate your help. Is Illustrial Silverhand the daughter or mother of Lairol Silverhand? The uh, open the open lord of Waterdeep. I could not tell. I'd love to know. You Please let me know if you can find that out. Um, so, but but Illustrial Silverhand absolutely is related to Lair Lairol Silverhand, right? And so you have this situation where um, you get this, you know, where this, this, you know, where you get a loose real silver hand. It also means that they are continuing to be dedicated to making sure that people get representation. So two thirds of the three most powerful um, uh, wizards that are going to fight Vecna are female uh, women and um, a loose real silver hand is a woman, right? So. There are, so there are incredibly powerful like deity level deity level fighting wizards in Dungeons and Dragons, and two of them are women, and one of them is Illustrial Silverhand. Also, she is an elf, right? So, uh, and and this makes sense. For a long time, we've known that elves are incredibly powerful in magic, probably far more powerful than dwarves as a species, right? They just have more. Um, they have a little bit more. Um, uh, they have a little bit more connection, right? Whereas, like, for, if you're going to forge a weapon, the dwarves are better at that, right? So, very, very interesting. Uh, and and the other thing I really like is that 
every D and D canon hardback is now one of before, especially in the nineties, they were just like, ah, just throw whatever you want against the wall. Let's make as many characters as we want. Now they're very much like we need famous D and D characters. We need like famous D and D characters. People know their names, know what they're about. And Illustrial Silverhand is getting, she's getting the hand up, right? She's being pulled into D&D Celebrity, which I think is very, very fascinating. Thank you for letting me discuss Beckna, Eve of Ruin with you. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion, nothing more, nothing less. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.